Here's a test in the audio of your camera. Test, brother. test, audio, test, fishing, cooking. Boom, boom, boom. Shake the room, shake the kitchen, the beach kitchen. Hey, good day, legends. Welcome back to another episode of Back to Basics Adventures. And today, we're here in the beach kitchen mm -hmm. in a prime spot on the Southern Great Barrier Reef. First things first, we're gonna fill it up these beautiful fish. We've got four of the finest found on the reef. We've got a coral trout, spangled emperor, red emperor, red emperor. and a green job fish. Green jobby. So this morning we were on a bit of an assignment from the guys at Fish Flicks um, on a mission to spear and film some of the beautiful fish found on the reef. We did just that. If you haven't checked out Fish Flicks yet, jump over and check them out. It was a pretty awesome morning, mate. This, I think my highlight of the morning was this spangled emperor. I think we're gonna have to get him on the scales as because it is it's by far the biggest one I've ever seen. Let's see how much he weighs. What are you what are you tipping? 5.8. 5.8. I'll go 6.1. So 5.8. 4.8. Yeah. 5.8 kilos of spangled emperor. Um, about four kilos of coral trout, red emperor, and green job fish. We're gonna fillet these up. Fillets are gonna become one part of the meal, and then what are we gonna do? Ed? Yeah, the specialist part, I think, uh, how we're really gonna mm. try and utilize the most of these fish is we're gonna get into the, the meat here in the wings. So mm. each of these fish have an incredible amount of meat up there, just under the gills in the wings. So we're gonna do some wings mm. on the barbecue. Coral trout, I reckon it's one of the best fillets in the business. The coral trout, beautiful white flesh. Shame about that shot, as. Well, talk us through that shot, brother. Yeah, look, I call that the, <laughs> the saving grace. All right, when it turns on you, last minute, and uh, you just go for the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, right? Yeah, enough. the anything goes. <laughs> look, it's a decent shot if you get it in the boat, all right? Here you go, seagull. Eat up, mate. All right, king of the reef. Oh, red emperor. Oh, mate, I was stoked to see that nice red emperor in the in the water where we were. Generally, they're a bit of a deeper water fish, as you know. But um, I think they were in about 18 meters of water there, and there's a couple of little ones around, so I knew I knew the bigger one wasn't far off. And then he came came swimming in, and I got a nice stone shot on him actually. That was the uh, the shit show of a circus landing the spangled emperor. <laughs> it was awesome, eh? That was fun, man. I'm glad we ended up with it. That's why it pays to dive in pairs and always keep an eye on each other. Not only for safety, but to make sure you don't let fish get away when they come off the shaft. I just made a dive down, and um, this fish caught my eye just because of the sheer size of him. I took a bit of a, in hindsight, a long shot, but it was a good shot that broke this fish's spine. It was just twitching on the bottom. And uh, I'm pointing to Az, I'm going, mate, dive, dive, dive. There's a, there's a big fish, you know, fish on the bottom. It was more like, <laughs> <laughs> You got the message though? Yeah, I got the message. Az dove down and thankfully was able to get that second shot on the fish. Before, moments later, a big, big tiger, tiger shark. Big tiger shark came Graced in. us with his presence, or her, couldn't tell. But hey, that was a big fish. Mm. Yeah, the wings in a fish, so commonly overlooked. People just throw the frame out like that, but you know, if you're here camping, ideally, if you only had this one fish, you'd be making a fish soup out of the frame and the head. You eat the wings and you eat the skin as well, which we'll be bringing to you in another episode. Coral trout skin. Coral trout pork crackling. Yeah, that's a beauty, mate. Coral trout wing. Give that a bit of a wash, but then that, is all meat through there. For some reason it tastes better when it's right off the bone as well, so that's gonna be some awesome chewing. Oh, we're gonna eat good tonight. Next step in the processing line is we've got to skin these fish. Do people do it? Do it. How, do, how do you do it first? I wanna oh, see how you watch. do it. So, how I do it. <laughs> Knife in the right hand. Yep. Um, just your thumb. Thumb of your left hand grips on at the base. Get a firm grip on that skin. You slip your knife in, and then once you're about here, you got two moving parts. The knife moving one way, and then your thumb moving the other. And just move it down along the fish, flip it over, you'll end up with a skinless coral trout fillet. And this, as we hinted before, we're gonna save this for a bit of coral trout crackling. 
you little beauty. I do it virtually the same way, only my granddad taught me a little trick at the beginning phases to make sure that you don't waste any meat at all. If you've got a second knife, pin it down, and start it off. Make sure your skinning knife is one that's quite long and flexible. That's him. The final step is we're gonna have to bone this fillet. So the coral trout, like all reef fish, they've got this pin bone down the middle. So we're just gonna chop either side of this pin bone. This is the reason the seagulls hang around this little feast here for them. Hey, play nice. Make sure you share. Right, two fillets of coral trout. We've got the wings. And that'll do us and the tribe and the Savo, eh? Perfect. All right. Well done. Let's clean this off and then we'll head to the kitchen. Cheers. Get out of here, you Get out of here, you bastards! I've just taken... <laughs> what happened, boy? So we've gone up to the camp, come back down with the gas, cooked our gas, a few bits and pieces, breadcrumbs, olive oil, salt, beers beers and they've eaten all the bite-sized pieces of trout. They've eaten all that coral trout. It was bone, skin, filleted, presented everywhere. And uh, we well and truly paid our tax we did. to the island. So uh, anyway, luckily we had a, another trout spare up our kilt, so onwards and upwards. Yep. I'll tell you what, as I don't spend much time in kitchens, but um, this is one of the best kitchens I've, I've stepped foot in. Mate. Without a doubt. Look at this. Good, White sandy beaches, keeping a close eye on our fleet. Alright, let's get these wings. Meat down on this grill. Put butter on the on the fillet house. Okay. And then oil on the wings. Alright, now we play the waiting game. We see you at 10. Right. Uh, so back to take the pace off. <laughs> Cooking thing's not too hard, is it? <laughs> Speaking of which, cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers to you. Yeah, with that wind, it's taking a little bit of, bit of a struggle. Bit of a heat. Maintain the heat. The heat. Out of the barbecue. Yeah. Feel it all coming out the side here. Should just bloody strap a couple of fillets onto these <laughs> on the top of the cooker here. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to flip these fillets over. The wings are taken. A little bit longer than expected due to the wind seeping into our barbecue top. But these are coming a nice golden brown on these trout fillets. You want to try that? I reckon that'd be just close to done. Oh, warm. Cheers, mate. Just falling apart. That's really nice. Oh, how does that look? Really nice. Oh. You know what, it's only half cooked, but hey, here we are. Oh. Crumb to perfection, I must say, mate, without blowing my own triton too hard. Much longer on. Fillet's only a couple of minutes. Yeah. Those wings are a bit longer. They need yeah. a bit of love, yeah. And no, we're not sponsored by Master Foods Moroccan Seasoning. It just happened to be at the bottom of the tucker box. <laughs> but if you are from Master Food Seasoning and you are watching and you would like to donate a couple of um, boxes of treats to us, <laughs> we're open. Talk to our people. Why our people are being beard as just send us an email. <laughs> send us a Gmail. <laughs> yeah. It's not hot enough, eh? We need to get a bit of we need to get committed to the cause. Bring yours over here. It's honestly been about 30 minutes. <laughs> you reckon front end? That wind's just smashing it. We've got about 15 knots from the southeast. That northerly wind coming from the southeast. You watch next thing. Thanks, Benny. Oh, yep. thank you. Videographers now lidless. Fuck, next thing, our three only shirts will just be up in flames. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no refunds! <laughs> Wings and shirts! Back to basic shirts, now barbecue proof. If you would like to purchase one, <laughs> yeah. send us an email. <laughs> Head on to our Instagram, alright? Send us a message on Facebook. Mate, right, Hard Yakka, they, uh, they're sturdy, barbecue proof, fish proof, they're, they're good to go. Yeah, bloody even butter proof. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm glad that went on your store. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah, we'll just hold it over there. <laughs> yeah, there, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Licking that off later, bro. <laughs> Adds value. Yeah. It's gone from 35.95 to 38.62. <laughs> so.
Oh, all, all the shirts that. on sale are actually re reused shirts. Yeah, <laughs> reused shirts. We recycle. They're well, they're worn in, mm. well worn. <laughs> but serious, we are selling shirts. We um, we, we very much appreciate your support. So please buy something. And they're good. Mm. They go towards helping cook the wings faster. Mm. You know. Maybe upgrading, Maybe a, upgrading a tighter, the <laughs> tighter sealed barbecue cooktop. How's your end there, mate? Mine's mm. cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thought it'd be a really specky idea. But we've got which it is. Uh, Look at that. Twenty minutes, not even that. Thing. I'm happy to wait triple as long to cook the fish for having a beautiful sunset. Yeah. Until we're sitting here eating in the cold. <laughs> Just shivering in the cold. Oh god! With butter all over your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a lot hotter. Making all the difference. Look at this, look at this. Give us a little reveal. It's real. So there's actually some colour coming through on the wings now. Dude, oh, I reckon we can get one of these plates. Done. Yeah, this fish is almost done. Yeah, right, right, mate. Copy around. You've done well here. Moroccan breadcrumb ratio to perfection. Bit of golden brown, thank you, butter. You know, we don't back ourselves in the kitchen too much, but when we're hungry and food needs to be cooked, we can whip something up. And we will sacrifice our shirts for the greater good of the gas cooker. Ta-da! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> cut up a lemon. Oh, there's been no cross-contamination there. We haven't been filling it up a couple of hours ago. <laughs> There's, our first. Good. There's another problem, we're out of white marlins. Shall we? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> cheers, mate. Oh, right in my coral cut. Yeah, good <laughs> uh, it's good on the cuts too. Yeah, multi-purpose. All right, mate, let's rip in. Well done, mate. Well cooked. Cheers, brother. That is surprisingly nice. Not surprisingly. That I'm, is no, nice. No, that is really nice. Mm. Oh, this was swimming three hours ago. Mm. A little bit too slow for its own good. Way too slow. Silly duffer, but if it, wow. If I tasted that good, I'd swim a lot quicker. Because it's bloody delicious. Isn't Honestly, it? though, respect to that. Like, that's mm. a seriously tasty fish. And we're, oh, yeah. Got to be grateful for that. Fresh. Speared, it's so good being able to hunt and catch your own food, knowing where it comes from, knowing what went into catching and, it. And pick what you want. Yeah, yeah, literally, isn't it? How many fish do we leave swim past? Hundreds, so, hundreds, hundreds. Awesome, mate, that's beautiful. Benny, you want to come in and try some of this, brother? Do I have it, bro. That is really, really nice. How would you describe the, the fish as in a couple of superlatives? It's, it's tender, it's sweet, it's warm, and I love the seasoning we've done with it. Like the butter and citrus shines through it because it's been soaked up so long. And I think it was a positive that it took so long to cook because it's really soaked up all the flavors of what we put on. How about yourself? Yeah, I think it's fucking good, eh? <laughs> Grand reveal. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, I can smell something cooking. I think we're getting somewhere, eh? Yeah, there's some heat in there now. Mm. Oh, we might get a green flash here, eh? Green flash. Green flash. If you've seen the green flash, leave it in the comments. A lot of people are big skeptics. Basically, as the last of the sun sets, sometimes, I don't know why, I don't know where, I don't know when, but sometimes the whole sky lights up. Bang. Green flash. Green flash. I'm going to comment on it. I've seen it. Have you? Yeah. When? Here. Right here. 14 Maybe. years ago. Maybe now. Maybe now. Maybe in 10 minutes. Hopefully. <laughs> this yeah. might be the day, book. Take a bit of day. Keep that camera rolling, Benny. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Green flash! Green flash! Green flash! <laughs> Time for the wings. Whoa! Yeah, that's Look them. them. Gas is going off. They're coming off whether oh. we like it or not. Oh, that's falling apart. That. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Perfect. That's the red emperor. Get him on there. Jeez, we might have to just do two at a time. Two at a time. We've got the green job fish. 
and we've got the Red Emperor wings, which normally get thrown out with the rest of the Unfortunately. The carcass, unfortunately. But tonight, we're gonna rip in. Put them over, eh? All meat has come off that green jobby. All right. Cheers. Good. Mate, straight off the bone. That's good, isn't it? Wow, that's tender. I might just start throwing the fillets out and keeping the wings. <laughs> Seagulls. That is really, really nice. It's juicier. It's juicier. It's juicier it, in the holds, it holds some moisture. There you have it. How good is that? Try it yourself at home. Let us know in the comments how you go. Put a hot pan or barbecue, probably 20 minutes as you do. Yeah, no, no more than 20. If you're on a, a very windy island, 45 minutes with, with the assistance of a few shirts, does the trick. Buttery shirts. <laughs> Let us know if you've got any other tips or tricks. But um, that's a winner, mate. Definitely and, a winner. And, and also, if you do want to see us, um, any other, you know, if you want to see more how-tos on cooking, other little bush tricks that we do, please let us know. We love the feedback. But uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you out here. Cheers. That's so tasty. It's awesome, isn't it? Benny, you better get over here, mate. Before yeah, we're we're <laughs> <laughs>